under the Provost's leadership, we're starting to do something about this. So we, we went for the Race Equality Charter. We looked at all aspects of our processes and procedures, made an application for the Charter, and we were successful. We submitted in 2014 and we were successful in 2015. And we're now working on the second, renew the renewal of this uh, Charter. What did we find when we um, prepared the document? We found that uh, the staff, were less, staff that were black, Asian and minority ethnic were less likely to be promoted, more likely to be disciplined, were less satisfied with UCL, and the students that were black, Asian and minority ethnic were less likely to come out with a good degree. We had an action plan and we've been working through a number of actions. And this is something that the senior management at UCL has decided is important for UCL. And the vision orig originates at the top. The equalities team works outside of the Provost, works out of the Provost office. We also go around and we articulate the, the added value of diversity, the things I've told you. We have a majority of students coming from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds. We, have, we owe it to them to make sure that when they come here, they get a degree that is devoid of any racial prejudice. That's what we owe to them, because they are our demographic, they are our market. When you look at the UK, there are more ethnic minority families sending their uh, uh, children to university. So 24% of UK undergraduates are for black, Asian and minority ethnic families. We um, understand that we're going to get better institutional outcomes, better decision making if we have ethnic, ethnic and gender diversity in line roles. And so we are preparing for this next submission. We have done a lot of work with raising awareness, going round to the faculties and pointing out the importance of this particular agenda. We've got the deans to make pledges on racial equality. Has anyone seen those deans' pledges? Some of you have, okay. Well, those of you that haven't, just Google deans' pledges at UCL and read the pledges. And we've got Vice Deans of Equality, Diversity, and Inclusion. For the first time at UCL, we have seen two minutes. Okay. For the first time at UCL, we have <laughs> senior members of staff who have this as their agenda. Yes? And this is very important. And some of them, surprise, surprise, even have budgets. So, you know, we're inching towards a better future. We've got some things that have been pioneered by Fiona's team, fair recruitment specialists. These will sit on interview panels and make sure the right discussions are had when we are recruiting people. We've got this inclusive advocacy scheme. Is anyone part of this inclusive advocacy scheme? Oh, great. Some people are. I met some of the protégés and they said this was the best thing that had ever happened to them in their career. They're paired with a senior member of staff and the goal is to get them promoted within two years or at least to get them to apply for promotion. We have a management program that uh, Fiona's team is developing and there, there are committee shadowing opportunities. So lots of things that people can get involved in. 